بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دس لیسن وی ٹاک اباؤٹ ڈفرینٹ اسٹریٹجیز بائی وچ وی کین ڈسپوز آف سلج ٹو اس فائنل ڈیسٹینیشن اوبیسلی ونس دا سلج ہیز بین ڈی واٹرڈ اینڈ ونس اٹ ہیز بین ڈس انفیکٹیڈ ناؤ دا سلج نیڈس ٹو بی ڈسپوز آف ناؤ اٹ ڈیپینڈس آن دا سلج اینڈ دا پیرامیٹرز آف دا سلج وی کین ڈسپوز آف ٹو ڈفرینٹ سائٹس ڈیپینڈنگ آن وٹ وی وانٹ الٹیمیٹلی ویدر وی وانٹ ٹو جسٹ ڈسپوز اٹ آف اور وی وانٹ ٹو ہیو سم بینیفٹ فرام دس سلج so uh, they can be different alternatives uh, for example ocean disposal is there incineration is there sanitary landfill land farming land reclamation and agriculture uses as well of the sludge so let's talk about ocean disposal as the name indicates we just uh, uh, you know dispose of the sludge in the oceans obviously uh, that is of no benefit in the end but the sludge is disposed of however obviously it can lead to contamination and pollution of the oceans Now, advantages are obviously it is very cost effective. Uh, we just have to dispose it off in the ocean. However, there are so many disadvantages. Ocean water is being polluted uh, by this and obviously depending on the contents of the sludge, the flora and fauna of the oceans are also affected and those can be, can be harmed as well. Next is incineration. Uh, we can incinerate the sludge. Uh, we can burn it. and uh, thus just uh, uh, you know get rid of it uh, it depends uh, on the parameters on the composition of the sludge whether it has a volatile compound or it has water content or it is dry so depending on that there will be certain products of the incineration uh, mostly in case of volatile compounds and such things it can be carbon dioxide and water and uh, uh, if the water content is not there it is mostly solid then obviously uh, the ashes are left over there again it is disposal without any beneficial uses so again there are certain advantages attached with the incineration of the sludge for example drastic volume reduction obviously jab hum sludge ko jala denge to the whole sludge will be burned down to ashes uh, so the volume is drastically reduced and the sterilization is also there uh, when we incinerate something everything present in the in that thing especially uh, the living organisms the microorganisms they die so it is also sterilized along the way however there are certain disadvantages uh, attached with the incineration of the sludge as well high cost is there we have to input a lot of energy to burn the sludge to incinerate it so it requires a, a lot of uh, expenses ash disposal the ash is generated due to incineration of the sludge then once we have the ash as the end product of this process we have to dispose of the ash as well and obviously when we incinerate it it will result in the production of uh, certain uh, fumes and uh, smoke and so many other things which can cause atmospheric pollution as well next is sanitary landfill uh, for the disposal of the sludge so as the name indicates we is dispose of the sludge in ditches or trenches gharon ki surat mein land mein unme sludge ko dispose of kiya jata hai usko baad mein cover bhi kiya ja sakta hai so uh, this in this way the sludge can be disposed of along with urban solid waste as well jo urban solid waste hai uske sath sludge ko mila ke bhi is tarah se dispose of kiya ja sakta hai in the form of trenches uh, however uh, there is no as such benefit of doing this and uh, this is disposal without beneficial uses as well the advantages is obviously it is low, very cost effective we just have to uh, dig trenches and such things and have to dispose of the sludge in there Uh, however there are so many disadvantages for example it requ- require large area the more we have sludge the more area we need there are problems uh, if the if there are certain populations uh, present around the uh, disposal site moreover uh, we cannot dispose of in any soil there should be certain characteristics of soil in which we can dispose the sludge gas production can also be there and leachate production can also be there leachate is uh, any uh, liquid which can leach through the sludge and can uh, percolate through the soil and uh, can thus move to the soil or maybe to the uh, water bodies as well moreover once we have uh, done this technique it is uh, uh, kind of uh, very difficult to reintegrate the soil back to its normal condition next is land farming so as the name indicates we try to uh, introduce a sludge in the type of uh, farming uh, how we do that in uh, the organic substrate is biologically degraded in the upper layer 
of the soil and the inorganic fraction is transformed or fixed into this layer. Upper layer of soil में हम इसको थोड़ी सी digging करके उसमें हम sludge को introduce करते हैं वहाँ पे उसको काफी देर तक रखते हैं इस तरह से sludge को dispose of किया जा सकता है However, ultimately there is no such benefit of doing this process. Again, the advantages are obviously it is inexpensive, cost effective and disposal of large volumes per unit area can be achieved. However, there are so many disadvantages as well. First of all, uh, when we dispose of sludge in this manner, uh, the content of the sludge which are hard to degrade, for example, there are certain chemical compounds which cannot be easily degraded. Uh, for example, there are certain elements, for example, toxic metals which cannot be degraded. So, if we uh, dispose of sludge in this manner, the concentration of uh, these uh, recastant constituents can be increased. Now, leachate can be there as well and uh, due to leaching of such uh, liquid carrying certain pathogens may be, certain chemical compounds may be, uh, those can leach down the soil and may, can also be uh, uh, reached to the ground waters as well, resulting in the contamination of the ground water. Order release can be there as well and insects attraction can be there as well. So, if there is population nearby, it can be very problematic for them. Again, if we introduce uh, land farming for sludge disposal, it is difficult to uh, reclaim the land after the process. Sludge can also be used to uh, reclaim land which is uh, not of much use and uh, especially not for agriculture purposes. So, for example, uh, mining areas where soil doesn't offer condition for development of uh, and fixation of vegetation. In such areas, sludge can be introduced and sludge can be uh, a source of organic content, a source of nutrients for such soil and it can be used to reclaim that, uh, that site and once the site has been reclaimed, it can be used to grow plants and crops as well. Depends on uh, the condition of the site, uh, it will depend on the condition of the site that how man, how much sludge we need, we need and uh, what should be the parameters of the sludge. कि किस किस्म का स्लज वहाँ पे इंट्रोड्यूस किया जाए और किस हद तक किया जाए कि वो लैंड रिक्लेम हो सके। सो स्लज कैन आल्सो बी यूज्ड टू रिक्लेम सर्टेन टाइप्स ऑफ साइट्स। एडवांटेजेस आर हाई एप्लिकेशन रेट इज़ देयर। मोर ओवर देर इज़ पॉसिबल रिजल्ट फॉर द रिकवरी ऑफ़ द सोइल एंड फ्लोरा एस uh, we are basically introducing nutrients over there which can be helpful for the structure of the soil, for the uh, nutrient composition of the soil and flora of uh, the site as well and plants and maybe crops can uh, grow over there as well. The disadvantages are again the same almost, order, order generation is there. Uh, composition and use limitation. We have talked about that it depends on the composition of the sludge and what characteristics are used to use it. We cannot employ every sludge for every such disposal technique and approach. And again, contamination of the groundwater, flora and fauna could be there as well. So again, we have to see uh, what kind of sludge we have, what are the parameters of the sludge, both physical and chemical. Depending on that, we will choose a strategy for the disposal of the sludge. In the end, sludge can also be used for agriculture purposes. Uh, why so? Because sludge contains organic content. Uh, obviously, much of that has been stabilized, but still it contains some and the nutrients as well. So sludge can be used uh, kind of as kind of fertilizer, and it can be used to, to increase the productivity of the land. So disposal of the sludge in agriculture soils in association with the development of crops can be there as well. So it is obviously beneficial use of sludge. Advantages are uh, large area availability is there that uh, we can just uh, uh, dispose of sludge uh, in any area where we want to culture plants or crop. Post effects on soils are there. Uh, it is a long term solution that we can dispose of soil uh, uh, in a beneficial way uh, so that uh, we do not uh, have to worry about it later. Uh, the sludge behaves as a potential fertilizer and uh, there is positive outcome for the flora and uh, for, the, uh, for the crops as well. But there are certain disadvantages as well. For example, limitations regarding composition and application. Again, what composition is sludge? How do we apply it? We can't use every sludge ko use kar sakte for agriculture purposes. Contamination of the soil can be there by metals. 
if there are uh, certain uh, compounds and metals which cannot be degraded those are present in the sludge uh, they will go along with the sludge to these uh, sites where we want to grow crops and these sites will be contaminated by these metals which are toxic obviously and these metals can ultimately find their way to the crops as well poor contamination with toxic elements obviously that can be there as well and pathogens as well and obviously order generation is there as well these are the environmental impacts related to different stages of sludge disposals for example you can see here that in case of ocean disposal water and sediment pollution is there and it also causes alterations in the marine communities disease transmission is there as well when we incinerate the sludge it leads majorly to air pollution sandy landfill obviously surface and ground water pollution is there air pollution soil pollution and disease transmission as well uh, in case of land farming surface and ground water pollution is there soil pollution air pollution and disease transmission as well in case of land reclamation again there is surface and ground water pollution soil pollution order generation and so many other things in case of agriculture reuse of uh, the sludge it can cause surface and ground water pollution soil pollution and obviously food web, web contamination as well kyunki humne kaha ki hum isko use karenge uh, as a fertilizer to enhance the production of the crops so if the sludge is containing certain toxic elements those can find their way to the crops and thus can enter the food web disease transmission is there as well uh, this was about different strategies which can be used to dispose of sludge i will see you in next lessons